So because we're on YouTube, you got to watch your mouth. Recording on YouTube? Maybe. Maybe I'll just send them pictures of you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing? I tape every 10 days. <laughs> I'm taping the, um, around the window so I can spray paint the window black. Oh, I got it. You know, and yeah, so, that'll look nice. Yeah, well, it's like redneck tint. So how are you supposed to look out the windows, dumbass? Spray paint them square. So that'd be like an army tank. I like the taillights, so they look pretty cool in here. We sunk in the license plate. That's pretty cool looking. <clears throat> but check it out. Glenn Ridd in Australia drew this for me. <laughs> Noisy plick. Yeah, he drew this for me. Picture my car. And check this out. This is just a mock-up, so don't freak out. This stuff is just, uh, you know, spot welded on so you can see the shape of the car. What it's going to look like. It's looking pretty damn badass. Oh, you're hurt. You have hurt feelings because Glenn hasn't drawn you any pictures. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be pretty sick. And then when we uh, form the fenders, this is not going to come straight down and like that. You know, we're going to have it, you know, mold into the other one like that. And then, and then the the one fenders right here. I haven't had time to work on my own stuff, so. I'm going to get this thing all put together so I can start putting the fenders on this thing. And, but at least just seeing this today got me all pumped up to get working on this thing. Uh, car show Saturday at our shop. So we actually cleaned up a pigsty of a shop. And, get here. Huh? You tell them to get here. There's going to be a lot of people here. Get here. <laughs> You got anything you want to tell Kevin? <laughs> side boob, got it. I'm going to name my band Side Boob. Yeah? That's your new rock band? <laughs> as long as it's not your flute. Thanks, Kevin. So on the front fenders, uh, and the, you know, the shapes of these, and then the back fenders and everything, what we did is we just took conduit, and we have the shape of them now. And the back fenders are almost done. Uh, the front fenders, we just started on those. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as the mock-up to see if we like where everything's at. And I really like how this is way above the body right here in the back. Got a little bit of shaping to do back here, but it should be pretty badass. And uh, with the fenders on it and everything, it'll look really neat. And like I said, this is just mock-up. So this is just something that we're gonna cut back off when we shape the fenders to see, you know, we wanted to get the shape of the car and see how long it looked and everything. Yeah, it's looking pretty badass. And you can see the yellow tape where the hood's gonna get cut. <clears throat> yeah, that pearl white. Wick it off. Which Hell yeah. Which Had to put the Studebaker hood up on the wall. Thought that was a pretty cool spot for it. <clears throat> what else is new? Anything else new? Not really. Just been busting ass. It's nice to be in this shop today, though. Man, it's okay. super nice out right now. Thanks. Room. Yeah, room. we can actually move around, got everybody else's crap out of here. Go like this. Yeah, without running into something or knocking something over all. Yeah, yeah, it gets so frustrating when your shop is so jacked up where you can't even move around, you know? This is new. Yeah, look at that. That's sweet. To numb nuts? Yep, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that right now. Huh? Which nuts? They're all numb nuts. Everybody's numb nuts. Huh? Yeah, this thing looks sick. It's getting there. We gotta wash the frame and everything. You know, it's all dirty from being in the body shop. So we sprayed this burgundy color on here and uh, flat clear, and then we're wet sanding it. So we gave, got even more of a flat finish to it. So it has like a really nice sheen now. So it's it's not shiny. It's just nice and smooth and flat. I don't want it glossy or pretty or nothing like that. Kind of going for the old school style look because this body was so bad. It had so much bondo in it. And, you know, we're not Bondo slingers, so it kind of bit us in the ass. We were going to strip the car down to bare metal, and now I kind of wish we would have. I know. This thing was a wreck. I don't know, but it's way better than what it was now. It looks a lot nicer. And then we did all the new floors and everything, too, so that turned out pretty cool. 
Way better than what it was, huh? It is totally a different car, huh? Looks way better. It's pretty cool, too, looking, because a lot of the spots still kind of shine in the light and stuff, you know, with the pearl that's in the paint, but it's uh, flat, so that's pretty neat. Well, I'm going to get off this stupid camera, so I got other stuff to do. Later. Yeah? Why is that? Because of those headers and stuff? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Later. So when the car came off the jack, you can see the scratch right there for my tooth. And then there's where it's bent right there. That's my face, my nose. Look, I don't know if you can see it. Ah! <laughs> it's all jacked up. Hurts like hell. Sucks. Well, we finally finished this Bondo bucket. Got the roll-up cloth top up there now. You can see how that works. Freaking car is aggravating. I can't believe how much Bondo was in this thing and how bad the body still is. But, oh well. Jay painted the interior. Uh, we're getting ready to do all the door panels and stuff like that. He painted the dashboard and everything. Made it look nice. Painted the steering wheel black. Got rid of all the stupid looking on this car. Put the new headers on and all that. Cool scoop from Kevin.